Today we're going to work with Acidobacter. And Acidobacter is a pretty interesting bacteria because um, they can oxidize ethanol by producing acetic acid. So I'd like to have them to do a few experiments. But first you have to obtain them. The first method is um, to just put a beer in a beaker and keep it outside for a few days. It mustn't be closed so that the bacteria flying around can get in the fluid and um, then you should just take a few drops, put them on a Promptimol Blue agar plate which I'll show you later how to make them and then it should indicate an acid which on the other hand indicates Acetobacter bacteria. The other method is to take an old bottle of vinegar and if you're lucky after a few months there should be this um, thing swimming around it's the so-called mother of vinegar and that's actually pure Acetobacter and you can get them by just filtering it out and then put it on your Bromtimol Blue Agar plate. Now before you ask me I decided to film outside because it's just such a great weather and great light for filming and I didn't want to spend this time down in the cellar. Now it's very simple to make the Bromptimol Blue medium for the agar plates. All you need is just agar, then some peptone, yeast extract, Bromptimol Blue, only 2 milligrams per 100 milliliters and sodium chloride 0.5 grams and um, you just have to mix them together in a in kind of bottle which I'll put in the microwave to heat it up so that you've got your agar solution then of course um, for 100 milliliters I use three aseptic petri dishes and 100 milliliters of water and I'm just going to put everything together in this bottle, put it in the microwave for 70 seconds and it's done. Now here I've got the mixture and the bottle was open. Okay, let me try it again. So I put the medium, now all the things together in a bottle and um, it's a 500 milliliters bottle because there's a lot of foam produced when heating up the medium and that's why you have to keep some space above it and um, don't close the bottle because um, if you would close it like this what's wrong today? yeah if you close it like this it will explode so just put the cap on it like this and then set your, micros your microwave at um, high power for one minute, put the medium inside it and start. Now after microwave you can just pour your medium in the petri dishes. I let it cool for around a minute and it had this it has this green color because of the Bronte Mold blue. Okay, now that's a beaker with the beer after three days and um, yeah, it looks pretty ugly. There are a few insects inside. Oh, I think that guy is still living there. <laughs> and um, we can check the pH value with those sticks. And it says that we have a pH value of about yeah, 4, 4.5, something around that. And that indicates that there should already be Acetobacter in the beaker. Okay, now let's start with the acetic acid or vinegar method. I just took a filter, a funnel with a filtering paper, and then I just put the vinegar through this.
Now it's important to wash the bacteria so that they aren't acid anymore but then because then the um, agar plate would indicate immediately that it's acid. So I'll just do that a few times washing it and then we can go on. Okay now I've got my two samples here the beer and here the mother of vinegar in an open filter and um, filtering paper and I've got my two agar plates already labeled with beer and mother of vinegar and on them I will now streak the samples on and um, of course I work near Bunsen burner and just the usual aseptic technique as you already know it Now that was the beer, now let's take the mother's vinegar. Finally put the two agar plates in the incubator at around 30 degrees Celsius. Okay, the plates are in the incubator for 24 hours now. I think we can have a look at them. So that's the mother of vinegar plate and you can see that the whole plate turned yellow. That's because of the growth of um, Acetobacter which produce vinegar, acetic acid. And Bromdimol blue indicator turns yellow then. Now it didn't work very good with a beer plate because as you can see the most parts are still yeah, kind of green and um, I think that there were many other bacteria maybe from the insects or which fell down from the air in the beer that's because um, it's and they don't produce an acid and maybe that's because it's mostly stay green but um, now you can take your your bacteria, the Acetobacter bacteria, and put them in a freezer with glycerol to work with them even months later. I showed you that in another video.